Ooh. All right, looks like, we, looks like we got our first major storm of the year. Let's, uh, let's hope the little plants survive. I mean, how much more beating can they take, right? Woo! Oh yeah, that's a good one. The greenhouse is probably about 30 miles that way. So they're gonna have to be left on their own. Hopefully they, um, hopefully they make it. I uh, put some skewers around the plants today. Then that windbreak, I finished putting that up. It's just starting to rain over here right now. The main, uh, the main part of the storm is over there by the greenhouse though. Let's see, cross our fingers, like I said. Hopefully I don't get taken out of the game too early. Well, it's time for the reckoning. Let's see if the plants made it. Looks like we got quite a bit of rain over here. Like I said, this is where, this is where the big storm was coming through at. So, there was supposed to be hail and all kinds of crap. Wind break is still up. That's a good sign. And we'll have to go out there and take a peek at the plants. Well, this guy made it. Some tear, some tore up leaves, but she made it. Let's go look at the other ones. The uh, 1350 Dyson was probably the one I thought would snap because it was just starting to fall over. And it looks like I made it. Good. That one's good. Some tore up leaves on this guy. But looks fine. Let's go look at the uh, this guy over here. And it's actually not muddy in here right now. Drainage must be pretty good after adding all that compost. This is that one that had the yellowing leaves. And it looks like it's fine. But while we're here, you can see that these are the first two leaves and see how they're yellow. And like I said, the leaves that are going to be coming on down the line, they should clear up and you won't see that anymore. That was just because of stress. So today we're going to, we're going to weed these guys. I want to hit the uh, edges with the weed whacker, clean it up real nice. The very next sunny day, so long as I'm off, I want to get in here and I want, I want to speed uh, our spray Roundup on the edges. That way uh, we can prevent those weeds from coming up over there. I mean, I just literally weed whacked this like five days ago and, and this is, I mean, just crazy how fast these weeds grow. It's ridiculous. I'm on, I'm on 12 hour shifts at work and really, I mean, can really sneak up on you and the weeds can get carried away. So we'll, uh, we'll do that today. We'll try to clear these weeds up, uh, make this look a little, little bit more presenting. I'm in the process of weeding and I found something I want to show you guys uh, so you guys can learn from my mistakes, I guess. So do you see this leaf? Do you see how you have these like wrinkles in here? It just looks, it doesn't look like a healthy leaf. It looks a little different. Like this is how a leaf should look. I guess, I mean, maybe not like this. This yellow shouldn't be there. This is the, uh, the first tier leaf, but minus the yellow, this is what a healthy leaf should look like. And you come over here and look at this leaf. You see this leaf? It just looks a little off, doesn't it? What this is, this, the, this crinkling on the leaf, that's nitrogen bloat. That's from the uh, calcium nitrate I put down. The plant took it up real quick, and you can see the bloat on these newer leaves, which is fine because um, I wanted to get them going. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, so just something you guys can pay attention for. If, you, if your leaves ever look like that, it, that's nitrogen bloat. You're adding too much nitrogen. So little little pointer. The other plants don't have it. That's the only one. And this is also, this one has a really nice main vine. This is... Uh, Clint Dyson's 1350, very nice plant. Uh, really happy with it so far. Minus this bloating on the sleeve, but that's my fault. So. We got all the weeds out. 
Tomorrow I'm going to come through here and I'm going to spray Roundup. That way I don't got to get in there and weed whack that when the plants just start growing. But the sun finally came out. So hopefully we get some good growth today. Like I said, these are going to grow quick. They may look small right now, but just you wait. They're going to take over this patch. In two weeks time. Oh yeah. Well, I never thought I'd be pulling these out again, but my, don't look, don't look at all the clutter in here. I got to pull those lights out. We're going to try to get those lights set up on the plants. I'm going to put the hoop houses back over the plants, uh, get lights on them. We got, uh, next three days are going to be, uh, frost and freeze advisories, low down in the twenties and cloudy. So not what we were hoping for. Um, that would definitely set me back and I'm going to try to prevent that. So we're getting lights up and we're going to heat those hoop houses real nice. Luckily my plants are small enough where they're still, they still fit in those hoop houses. So yay. Good for that. Um, yeah, this is my house over here. Like I, I'm sure I, I stated this before, but, um, I don't live at the greenhouse. That's just my parents' property. It's about like a 15, 20 minute drive. Uh, so kind of challenging when I'm on 12s to make the drive over there and then back because my workplace is 30 minutes from the greenhouse and this is kind of in the opposite direction so I'm working 12s uh commuting is like an hour and a half and I mean yeah it's not fun what do you think Doug think I can grow a 2,000 pound pumpkin on a 100 square foot plant because with the weather like this that's about what my plants are going to be come pollination time we got like three days of frost advisories at night, rainy, cloudy, no sun, and my plants are supposed to be kicking in the high gear. Well, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so yeah, definitely not the best start. Uh, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get an outstanding July, August, and September. But yeah, a little bit, little bit depressing and dreary. So uh, we'll see what happens. All we can do is try, right? Well, you guys can start calling me Travis Ginninger now. Got the lights set up. We're gonna we're gonna try to prevent this plant from being stunted any further. Uh, I got the vine; it's vining pretty well. It's right now it's growing about six inches a day, and I do not want that to stop. We gotta we gotta get these vines growing about two feet a day, and with this cold weather, it's gonna stop. So uh, I'm gonna put a heat lamp back up in here. I'm gonna put grow lights. To really push the plants can't can't get too far behind and uh, you got to do what you got to do I mean right now this weather I'll guarantee you that's gonna push me over the edge where I'm too far behind that would probably push my pollinations out to late June early July if this weather does what I think it's gonna do to the plants if I don't uh, if I don't put the hoop houses back over and put these grow lights up so I got this one already set up um, jump in here and show you so let's get them going got to keep them rolling we got to catch up to travis i got a long ways to go we're going to start with mike first that's uh he's within sight <laughs> gonna catch up to mike so <laughs> all right we'll get these other ones uh get these other ones uh put on and uh wish for the best and hopefully we don't get too bit, uh, bad of a frost tonight, or freeze, rather. It's actually calling for a freeze. And snow. Oh, my God, snow. I'm not even kidding you. Snow is in the forecast for tonight. So we may actually see snow on this patch tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll be sure to get a video of that if that happens. Well, they're all tucked in. Hopefully they make it. And uh, I thought I'd let you guys know, for the people that are wondering why I didn't set the lights up to begin with, like before I... I mean, from the very beginning when the plants were tiny. The reason I didn't set these lights up like this is because it takes a lot of time to set them up. And uh, I have to cut corners and utilize my time because with uh, my work schedule, I can't spend, uh, can't spend a lot of time at the greenhouse. So that's a corner that I can cut because it, it takes me like an hour and a half to set these hoop houses up. And then plus the time, you know, getting all these lights out of the garage and then setting them up, tearing them down, putting them away. It, it ends up being like three, four hours. And my work schedule is kind of weird. I'll just throw it out there real quick. 
So I work six, six 12s on, one day off, seven 12s on, two days off, six 12s on, four, uh, four days off. So it's, I don't have a lot of time. And then with the drive to the greenhouse, it's uh, uh, very challenging. So I got to util utilize my time as best as I can. And uh, the patchwork was uh, top priority over setting up lights because, you know, that's not a necessity, I don't, I don't believe. But in this instance, I think it isn't a necessity. Seeing as I got the patchwork done, I took the time today to set those lights up. So I got to head back to the house. I got to sleep before going to work. Yeah, I got off work this morning and drove straight here. So, yeah, not fun. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully we don't get too much snow and hopefully the plants make it. I think... I think this is going to work out well.